Good evening and welcome to all of you this evening. It's a joy to welcome you in behalf of Ozark Adventist Academy. Mike Dale is principal for this evening's Christmas Music Fest. The program tonight, The Night the Angel Sang. It's my prayer that each of us will enjoy what I think is the finest, the most beautiful music that's been ever created. Christmas music that honors the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. This is a, as one of the songs goes, a wonderful time of year. And whether or not we accept the date of December 25 is irrelevant. What we do recognize is that Jesus, the Son of God, was incarnate, came to this earth, and because of his life, his ministry, and his death, you and I can have the assurance of eternal life. And so this evening, music that is presented by our young people here will celebrate what Christ has done in his birth, in his life, and in the assurance that he is coming soon. I want to recognize Mr. Robert Knippel and all of the work and effort that he has put into organizing our program this evening. He will be introducing the other uh, featured directors, but I want to recognize him and for all the work that uh, has been put in to this evening's program. <clears throat> We are pleased that our own students at the academy are involved in this program, but we recognize that there are students from many, many academies and elementary schools as well that are here tonight. We're grateful for all the sponsors who have brought their young people that we can celebrate and have this wonderful occasion here tonight. By the way, if you have a cell phone and you haven't already put it on vibrate, now would be a real good time to do that. As we uh, begin our program this evening, I'd like to invite you, if you would, stand with me as we go to the Lord in prayer, inviting his presence and his spirit to be with us together tonight. Gracious, loving Father in heaven, what a privilege it is to come and celebrate the birth of Jesus, our wonderful Savior. As the young people share the music that they have prepared for this evening, we pray that it will bring honor to your name and that it will bring to each one of us a renewed desire, and a renewed commitment to serve our Savior and to be ready for the day when he comes as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Tonight we dedicate all of this music and we rededicate ourselves, Father, to you. May it be as an offering and a tribute to heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's my pleasure this evening to introduce both of our clinicians, but first off, we have uh, Dr. Mark Elisay from Southwestern Adventist University. I met uh, Dr. Elisay several years ago in my first year here down at uh, Music Festival. And last year we began a string festival here. And it's something I wanted to continue. And immediately my mind went to uh, Dr. Elisay. And so I am grateful that he's come up. He and his wife, she's playing the bass over there. And their two little boys are being cared for right now. So they got a little night off together, so they get to play music together. But we're, we are so grateful that they're here, and so I'd like to introduce to you Mar Dr. Mark Kellesay.
Thank you, so, oh. Thank you so much for having me here with you tonight. Thank you, students, for having uh, dealt with me for the last 48 hours. For you, some of you more than others, but thank you all. And it's a wonderful um, time to spend together to play music, to, do, uh, to be able to produce beautiful things. I believe that God is a wonderful creator who has been so many beautiful things, imagine, like right now, in spite of the sin that has been uh, here for a while, we still are amazed about how many beautiful things God has created. Um, is it better this way, that way? I'm not sure. Um, or maybe that way. Um, it is, uh, I believe that, you know, part of, uh, in Genesis, when God says, uh, that he wanted to create, God, uh, to create man to uh, his image. Uh, one of the things I believe that make us in the image of God is the ability to do music. You know, like, like nowhere else in creation you have you know, choirs of whales, choirs of birds, or you, know, like you have animals doing things together, but actual choirs or orchestras, we're the only ones to do that. So I believe that it's a wonderful way to honor God, to actually use that part of Him that He has put in us in doing music. So thank you, students, for uh, being partakers of this uh, f uh, fantastic endeavor. Uh, the next piece that we will play is uh, called Gloria. And after that, we will have a piece by Antonio Vivaldi. And I have a couple of little things to say about him that you probably would like. Should we change? We can if you want. It's all right? Oh, it's fine. You know what? We're, we're flexible. We can do Inverno right now. So let me talk, just tell you one or two things about Antonio Vivaldi. Antonio Vivaldi was a, a composer, right, from Italy, right? And, but maybe some of you don't know that he was actually first, he was a priest. Did you know that? No? And some, uh, the story goes that uh, some days, you know, like when he was doing, uh, performing the mass and everything, he just couldn't help just having to run back in the in the little room and just jot down a couple of notes because he was saying that he was impressed to have you know so so, so much music overwhelming uh, him and so he just could not continue the service. So sometimes he would actually skip ten minutes of the service and try to write music down and just come back. And actually, this is some of the first notes that we have from Antonio Vivaldi. The other thing is um, that is interesting about the piece that we're doing. It's a part of of um, the four seasons, it's the winter, and um, some of you may know that um, um, Vivaldi was uh, also a teacher, and uh, he, he started the first orchestra, all women orchestra, and it was all uh, girls from an orphanage uh, that was called La Pieta. And so, you see, like, when these girls actually ended up being some of the finest players in Italy, uh, just because someone actually uh, uh, dared really just, you know, uh, spend time with them and actually give them something really beautiful to do. And thanks to them, we always uh, already have today so many beautiful uh, uh, pieces that were written by Antonio Vivaldi. So, Inverno from Antonio Vivaldi.
The fourth number that we will perform for you tonight, you might actually know it so well that you probably could sing along with us. So if you feel like humming, hum a little bit. Maybe don't sing too loud so that people around you don't get upset. But if you want, you can hum along. So, oh, holy night. <laughs> 